Until now, we have seen that force is required to move into upward direction in life. To be in upward incline in life, we need force. There are two types of forces. One is pull and other is push. Let us see which force is more triggering than the other and why. Pull. Pull is an internal force. If you have an internal pull, the sky is the limit. It keeps on thriving you from inside. It says, I have to achieve this. I have to achieve this. And then you start working on it with an internal pull. Internal pull is something like you get up automatically on your own. You start to do things on your own. And you grow from a seed to a big tree on your own. The sky is the limit to grow if you have an internal pull within you which is deeply drive, diving you with determination, confidence and concentration. Pull is like a low rope from the top. The pull is from inside and it pulls you towards the goal. It's like someone has put a rope from the top and then you are just pulling that imaginary rope and going onto the top and reaching the pinnacle of your goal. Push. Push is an external factor. Push means pushing. Someone is pushing you. What happens? You move. Okay. Then someone has stopped pushing you. What happens? You stop them. It does not work in life because internal energy is needed to come up in life. You need to have a pull from within. If someone pushes you, you only move to a certain extent. A little more. This is an external force firstly. And then the push is stopped. Then you will remain at the same place or sometimes if you cannot even retain that you might have to even step back. So push is just an external force. Pushing also causes irritation. If you have to change you need a pull not a push. Your parents can push you, your teachers can push you. Then what will you do? You will only read when they are there. You won't enjoy what you are doing. Okay, but if you have pull in you, you will enjoy what you are doing and you will automatically get marks. I'll take an example. Exams are coming. Parents come and tell you, read, read, read. Okay, they are pushing you. Okay, you may scold them and say that I am reading. Why are you telling me? Why are you insisting me? But if you have a pull, you automatically will open your books and you will start to read. Okay, then what happens? You get more doubts, you learn more, you will get encouragement from your parents, teachers and you will achieve what you want automatically without anyone's help or without anyone's pressure. That is pull. The pull makes you enjoy what you are doing. Push makes you feel bad. Pull creates your own image. The image created by pull lasts forever. Push creates a temporary image. Your parents are pushing you to read. Okay? Because they are pushing you to read, you want to read. Okay? You get good marks. What happens? The image does not last forever. Until they push, you will get it. In the next exam, if they don't push, you won't get it. But if you have pull right, you will raise and you will also see many opportunities because you are inclined towards raising in life. You are inclined towards your goal. You are determined. Your willpower, your strongness and you will focus more. You will ask more. You will learn more and you will find more opportunities and you will grow more. So always try to have a pull in your life, an internal energy in your life that is going to change you from deep within. This is the most important thing that anyone needs to have in life. Ask yourself, do I have a force of life which is pull? Is it working in my life? Then you are bound to grow. If you have a pull, you are bound to grow. And you will grow to a certain extent that automatically you will start finding opportunities you will start talking to people and you will do but if you do not have a pull create the pull force in you shake from inside shake the force from inside and then you will see how beautifully you can enjoy what you are doing thanks for watching the video please leave your comments thank you